The device you are watching this on has one name printed on its body, but what hides behind it? Most likely, you bought it from a store. To get there, it was transported through warehouses, logistic hubs, ports, and terminals. Before that, it had to be assembled. Its components were manufactured in different factories by different companies that have very little to do with each other. Each of those companies may have employed their own contractors, and each of those contractors may have had all kinds of partnerships and subcontractors of their own. The same goes for the software in this device. How many apps are there? And how many companies that made those apps rely on other companies to make their software? This is the reality of modern supply chains. Everybody relies on everybody else. Now imagine a fault in one of those chains. A company gets hacked and doesn't notice it. The attacker gets access to its clients and its clients' clients and so on down the chain. These are called supply chain attacks and they are some of the scariest cyber attacks that can happen. Like the attack on SolarWinds, one hack that trickled down to the entire US government. 